well have gone on with it. Now it's critical time. Clean ball from this line out. Continuity. A couple of phases of play. They need to get going to get that much needed. That's better ball for Australia. Line up. The little kick away now for Campisi. Behind Tui Gabala. Trouble. Timu. Forced in goal. Terrific. He tried to work the ball out. Was pressured by Campisi. Scott Young tried to get it back. They've hustled the ball back Australia. Chance little. Intercept by Kerwin. Here's a chance for New Zealand. But good play, Kerwin. Foreign chance, John Kerwin. Length of the first up. What a reply by New Zealand. Fantastic try. Just the thing that breaks hearts. New Zealand just when Australia are in such a the break. He showed great strength to stand in the tackle and a great ability to unload but the credit to Kerwin who supported him on the inside shrugged away some feeble defence by Australia and raced another 30 metres to score a crucial try that has put the All Blacks in the lead again by one point and now Grant Fox a chance to make it three the crowd are going to let him know he's at Ballymore but he's used to pressure this fellow he's kicked goals all around the world He's had a particular fascination for Ballymore over the years as well. A great kick by Fox. New Zealand lead by three. 14 points to 11. Now not forward by Australia. The referee's allowed to play on. And Australia drive it beyond the 22. They set it beautifully. Take it forward again. Control of the football important. They come open side liner. Puts it high. It's for Timu. The chase is on. Timu took it beautifully. But he's wrestled by Horn and Little. It's only five metres out from the New Zealand line. Australia need this ball. Not only that, they need the ball. They also need the put-in if, it, uh, if it's prevented coming back. Good claim by Eels. Now Horan. Little on the cut. Great defence in midfield. Chance blindside. Now Carosa. Kick and chase. Taken away by Ann Strawn. Play will come back to the quarter line again. New Zealand defending today. Olo Brown, very strong. Line R, right foot, over the head of Kerwin. Great kick. Yeah, he's gained 40 yards for that kick. So crucial to uh, Australian positional play for Lyme to be there at 5-8. Let's go touchline now to Russell Fairfax at this halfway mark of the second half. Yes, David, well, it's been sensational football to hand in, to say the least. Australia must secure more possession. That is their problem. They can't build the pressure without uh, build the pressure without more possession, and that's what they've got to do, work in these set plays. They're starting to come back in the lineouts, but they need a lot more ball up there to go ahead and get in front. Toad through by Kearns. Did very well to come on the open side. Terrific play, Troy Coker. Save Scott Young. Australia drive to the try line. Now they've got the numbers. Back in field. Australia have it set. Campisi takes on the defence. New Zealand offside. So Michael Liner, a chance to make it all square here with about 12 minutes to go in this seesawing international at Ballymore. He's done it, 14 all, through the right boot of Michael Liner. With an earlier penalty. I think I'll leave it to the crowd to tell the story. Fox set. New Zealand 17, Australia 14, and about nine minutes of play remain. Kearns, throwing to the middle for Coker, another good two-handed catch. Liner putting pressure on again. Forwards arriving, knocked it back Australia. New Zealand under pressure. Australian ball, numbers! Well, the 
inflation to exhilaration. The Grant Fox kick sailed over and our hearts sunk. Here it is, here. What a marvellous moment, the kick by liner and the pressure. First the horn and then the pack arrives. It spun out. The option didn't go the far side where there weren't many numbers. It came back here to the strength. The ball moved quickly and it will beat the man every time. And Carrozza, superb, taking on his nemesis, Kerwin. Over! Fantastic strength there by Paul Carrozza. He'd lose about two stands, uh, staying on uh, John Kerwin. He's got that line. The termination gets him over there. Fat. With the restart of play in 1968. It was 1918, 1974 it was 16 all, 1980 it was 12-9, 84, 1915, 1988, 19 all. And here it is with five minutes to go, Chris, 19 points to 17 in favour of Australia. David, they're great stats. Don't they say that these two sides, that's why the crowds are here, that's why they're spilling out of the ground. And on the field, it's superb. Field position so critical now. Penalty shots, anything for Fox inside the uh, the half is uh, is almost a gift the way he's kicking today. Simon, you were part of this campaign in 1991, leading up to that World Cup victory, and I think that the thing that Australia has come through that they can score the points when they have to. Yeah, the composure of this uh, Australian side is just getting to uh, legendary proportions now, but this game's not over yet. There's still five minutes left. That's a dreadful kick off the left foot by Far Jones, and will Fred Bunt's making pay. defense by Australia in cover. Now Fox, Little, Kerwin, the pass has gone forward. Out here at Ballymore and haven't they been entertained? Far Jones, control ball for Liner. Kick straight downfield. Timu's knocked it forward. Timmy Horn. to their feet. Well, we uh, did get the try to the Australian side at the right end of the ground. Is this entertainment or what? From one end of the field to the other. This is rugby at its absolute best. Brought to you here. Lead by two. Fox. Attempt to drop goal. It's wide. What a great attempt by Grant Fox. The smile on the face told it all. And he's dangerous from anywhere, Grant Fox. Really having an effect on this game. Look at it from behind the post. Our hearts sink. And I'm sure the Tiwis did as well. As it just slipped to the side of the post. Destroyed. Great line out win by Australia. Liner. Attempt to drop goal. It's wide. And they'll play it on. You know, his last drop goal that was successful was against New Zealand and Auckland back in 1990. But that would have brought the house down. 1917. Now New Zealand under pressure again. Bucks. That pass looked forward again. Tui Gamala taken. Australia there to the breakdown. Very close to half time here in Ballymore. But you can never write this New Zealand side off. Carrozza. I hope that's full time, David. Wouldn't like to go through another half of this. I'd say half time. 25 out, it's a New Zealand put in. Bob DeWire not impressed. Laurie Main anxious. You can nearly read his mind. He can see this coveted silver trophy slipping across the Tasman. I think he's the first so time since 86. I think he'd be so proud of his players day to day, the effort that they put in. Tempo and fun. 